FIFA 20 is out, and if you're looking to buy some Ultimate Team coins to get your dream squad, make sure you check out my sponsor, u7buy.com. They provide a cheap and reliable service for coins and accounts. Link in the description. Use your code Haber and get yourself an extra 5% off when you are at the checkout. Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, what I've got for you is a huge squad. I think the price of the squad is over 3 million coins. Um, it is a, is a squad that's basically taken up every coin that I have, um, and it is absolutely unreal to play within game. So I thought I'd make a squad builder on it. I want you guys to comment down below any kind of budget you guys have and what kind of squad you want to see. Um, I'm going to try and post a squad builder every single day in the morning for you guys. So um, make sure you guys uh, let me know down below your, uh, you know, 100k, 500k, 50k, how much you guys have got to play with and, you know, kind of players you guys want to see in some squads. So, in goal for this team, we have gone with Thibaut Courtois. Um, this guy is really good. I'm enjoying him a lot. Um, goalkeepers seem to be making silly mistakes again this year. Um, you know, they're not great at covering the near post. A lot of shots straight at them go underneath them, for example. Um, a lot of the time, it can be pretty difficult with goalkeepers. Uh, but Courtois seems pretty well-rounded. Um, you know, he, he seems like he does a job, so I'm happy with that. And he has a big long throw, so I'm happy with the long throw as well. Um, over at right back, we have got Kyle Walker. I think I used him in my last squad. He is phenomenal. Fantastic. Really enjoying him. Uh, six foot with 89 jumping. Really decent there. Wins a lot of headers. Um, he's got 89 stamina so he can run for the whole game. He's incredibly quick and I am really enjoying using him. And then over at left back, again, I think he used him in the same squad builder as last time. We have gone with Robertson, who is just absolutely incredible as well. Really enjoying him. He's not the fastest. I have got an anchor on him to make him a bit faster. Um, he is definitely not the fastest, but he's good at tackling um, and he's quite defensively aware. So it just helps to have him in the place at the right time. Um, and he's pretty good at our strength in people from time to time now over at the right center back spot we have got the first icon in a squad that i have made um it is carlos alberto's baby card picked him up for 575 thousand coins um really enjoying this squad uh sorry this card in the squad he is really quick first of all um feels incredibly pacey uh, really enjoying that. He is incredibly aggressive, which can be a uh, a good thing and a bad thing. Sometimes he's too aggressive, um, but his defense his defensive stats are incredible. Uh, his physical stats are really good as well, and he's very quick with very decent actual um, dribbling and passing too. So he's good at getting the ball out of tricky situations at the back, and uh, he's good at dribbling out as well. So really enjoying that. He's partnered with uh, my favourite centre back on this game so far. I have tried Van Dijk. But uh, he's partnered by Sergio Ramos. Um, his body shape and tackling style, the animations he has are phenomenal. Uh, really enjoying using him. Um, and although he's not the tallest and he's not the, the strongest sometimes, uh, he does feel like he wins a lot of headers and he's always in the right place at the right time defensively. So I am really enjoying him at the back. Uh, he plays really well with Carlos Alberto. Um, they both gel really well together. Now, at CDM at the right-hand side, we've actually gone with Paul Pogba. Um, now, this is not how I play in game. I will show you how I play in game. Um, Pogba's okay in this game. His st skill moves are great. His dribbling feels all right. Being a bigger player, sometimes he can feel a little bit um, immobilized. Uh, sometimes he can feel a little bit clunky. Um, sometimes he turns pretty slowly. Um, sometimes he is just not the greatest on the ball with certain touches. But his passing's great. His pace doesn't feel bad at all. Um, his skill moves obviously are fantastic. Really good five-star skill moves. So you can do some really cool skills with him. Um, and all in all, he just feels like a really solid player over... Uh, I use him in centre mid. Um, now, for the middle centre mid, uh, it's not Fabinho, but he is my left CDM. So we'll talk about him first because he is a centre mid still. Um, Fabinho is a phenomenal CDM. Really enjoying him. Uh, he is so good defensively. His pace feels sometimes a little bit of a downside, but... Uh, he is really good at jockeying. He's really good at just blocking off passing lanes. He's incredibly strong. He wins a lot of headers in the air. Uh, he doesn't run out of stamina at all all game. And his defensive style is fantastic. And his passing's pretty decent too. So really enjoying him all round. He's just a fantastic midfielder. And then at centre mid, we have gone with Wijnaldum. I think I used him in my last squad as well. Um, there he is, uh, Wijnaldum, who is really, really good. I'm thoroughly enjoying him too. Um, he's great on the ball and his passing's good. Um, he feels quite strong in game and his defensive Defensive stats are pretty decent as well. He's pretty good defensively as well as moving forward. He is just really, really good. So thoroughly enjoying Wijnaldum. Um, now over on the left wing spot, we have got actually a left forward. Um, let me quickly change that so you guys can uh, find him. It is actually Neymar who is 
I think one of my favorite, new favorite players on this game. Uh, Neymar is phenomenal. This guy is so good. He's great on the ball. He's great off the ball. 24 games, 22 goals and 13 assists, I think says it all, to be honest. Um, he is absolutely incredible. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying Neymar. Um, everything about him going forward is absolutely incredible. Um, over on the right wing spot now, we've got another five-star, five-star player. It's Usmane Dembele. Um, I haven't used this guy too much. Only three games, but he as well feels really good. His stamina doesn't seem to deplete that much. I use him as striker, um, and he's really good on the ball. Uh, his shot feels decent, um, and he seems to get in some really, really good positions. And then as striker, we have got, I think, my favorite player on FIFA 20 so far. It is Mbappe. 24 games, 28 goals, 12 assists. This guy is just in the right place at the right time every time. He is phenomenal. Uh, thoroughly enjoying Mbappe. His shot is incredible. He's incredibly quick. He's incredibly agile. He's incredibly strong. Uh, and his shot is incredibly accurate and powerful. Uh, really enjoying him. Think he's fantastic. And if you guys have a million coins... I would highly recommend buying him. So I'm going to quickly put this into Footbin Squad Calculator before I show you guys what I play in game. And let me tell you how much this squad currently goes for. Footbin has this squad at three and a half million coins. Uh, huge, huge price for the squad, obviously. Um, and it plays really well in game. So let me show you guys how I play in game, actually. Now, I actually only use one formation with this team in game, and that is attacking. I only ever use the 4 1 2 1 2 narrow. Uh, I have defensive style on balance with four uh, depth and four width. Um, then I have fast build-up with five width, uh, nine plays in the box, uh, three corners and three free kicks. Now, in terms of how I play, it's Mbappe and Usman up top. Neymar in behind at Cam with Pogba and Wijnaldum on the two centre mid spots. Uh, Fabinho at CDM and then Sergio Ramos, Carlos, Alberto, Kyle Walker and Robertson as the uh, defenders. Uh, in terms of uh, instructions, I have get in behind and stay forward on both of my attackers. I have stay forward on my Cam and then I have stay back while attacking and cover centre with Wijnaldum and balance attack with cover wing for Pogba. He just seems to get in good positions. Uh, I have Fabinho on uh, stay centre, uh, sorry, cover centre and stay back while attacking and stay back while attacking on both of my fullbacks. Um, nothing else really changed in terms of roles. I have uh, short free kicking, long free kicks. For some reason, change to Kyle Walker, but usually it's Neymar um, and Neymar's pretty much on most things. So uh, that's just how the team is. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, there will be some highlights now of the uh, of the team playing in game as well if you guys want to check that out. And if you guys did enjoy this squad builder, leave a like down below and let me know in the comments uh, and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. Like I said, let me know in the comments down below what kind of squad you want to see. Uh, I'd love to take your input on board and make some squads you guys would like to see. Thank you all for watching this video. Thank you all for the support recently and I'll see you lads later.